Good morning. We're back in LA, gang. We're here for yet another fun experience. This time, we're going to a movie premiere. Another one with our Netflix family. Two for two, you guys. How exciting. I love working with Netflix. They've been so fun. And if you didn't see, I actually went to London with Netflix not too long ago. So yeah, we're just keeping it going. Today, or should I say tonight, we're actually going to see the premiere for You People, which has Eddie Murphy, Jonah Hill, and Lauren London stellar cast and i feel like this one's gonna be a little different from the la trip because obviously like we haven't done an la red carpet premiere experience which i feel like is way different just because the whole cast for sure I i'm assuming is gonna be here and everybody lives in la so i think the experience will be a little different london most of the cast was there but not all of the cast was there it was still really really cool but i'm excited to see these big name people fun fact i'm actually named after eddie murphy's daughter so if i get to meet him do you think that's a good icebreaker or is that creepy? I don't know. I'm gonna take my chances and if I do get a chance to talk to Eddie Murphy, I'm gonna tell him. It's not my fault. Take that up with my parents. So that should be really fun. But that's not till tonight. I thought it would be really cool for us to have a very LA day. I wanted to go hit some of the like, quote unquote touristy spots but no it's actually fun so we have time to kill we're gonna go on rodeo drive maybe stop at air one and get into some trouble okay you guys i'm not gonna lie i did go to air one already because i wanted to try bella hadid's her elixir drink it's like a non-alcoholic spirit called kin and when I, I went to Erewhon and you know, I've seen the TikToks where people are like, Erewhon is so expensive. You guys, a bag of nuts was like almost $30. <laughs> is that legal? That's actually really fucked up if you ask me. But I will say it was everything I imagined and more and I get the hype. The food was elite. They have this like hot bar with all this amazing food and it's like obviously really good for you too at the same time. I'm here for it. I saw Hailey Bieber's smoothie, the strawberry glaze. I don't really like strawberry, so I'm probably not gonna try it, but allegedly Bella Hadid has a drink. It's not a smoothie, and it sounds like everything I want to have in a drink, turmeric, like coconut cream, like all this yummy stuff. So I'm actually gonna get that and see what that's about, if they still have it. If not, we'll have to think of another plan. So anyways, let's go have some fun in LA today. Influencers in the wild. I'm a rodeo bitch now. <laughs> Let me in. I promise I'm in a new tax bracket. <laughs> Princess just like me. I have to say, as intriguing as it is to see all these designer stores, I have never really been one to like feel the need to excessively spend on clothes. It's just never, it's never been my thing. Even when I was like a fashion content creator, I just was like, I don't know. Honestly, being a fashion content creator made me feel like I needed to buy more clothes, but if it weren't for that, I'd be rocking the same thing. Now, we were just talking about this, the only time we ever go shopping is when we have a trip. Yeah, yeah, just to, just to freshen up a little bit, the wardrobe, you know? Yeah, we literally do it when we have a trip, and otherwise, we wear the same three outfits. We're like cartoons, like, <laughs> call me Arthur. <laughs> I just be wearing the same shit every day because I don't see the same people every day. And he's married to me, so he doesn't count. Yeah. So it is what it is. But this is really cool to see. It's it's beautiful. I just, I don't feel like I belong here. <laughs> sure you do. One, one day I might change my mind about that, but it just, 
I can't rationalize some some things at this point in my life, you know? But don't get me confused. I like nice clothes and I will pay like a bigger price for quality because I want my clothes to last for like decades. But yeah, I don't have, I'm just saying I don't have anywhere to go. So like <laughs> I don't, I don't need anything. What are, we, what are we dressing for, you know? No, I just want like a bunch of sweats. So we're gonna go to Air One now and I'm gonna see if I can get that drink that I wanted to get. Otherwise, we're just gonna get some walking in. What's cool is if you are in LA and you want to see like very LA things, just have an Uber drop you on Rodeo and there's honestly so many things around here. Air One is like walking distance from Rodeo Drive. So yesterday we got like 15,000 steps just from walking around this area. It's pretty cool. How far of a walk is it from here? A five minute walk at max. We just gotta take two right turns. Love that. Starting now. They had it. This is the Kinsicle. I'll put a little graphic of what's in it. There's like so many good things in it, but let's see if it's actually good. Wow, okay. It's so good. Wanna taste it? Yeah. With the limited edition Kinsicle sleeve. Wow. Really good. It's so good, like 10 out of 10. Mm. And then, so AJ got the turmeric crush. Yeah, I'll have to share what's what's in this as well, but obviously main ingredient is turmeric. It's good. It's very uh, turmeric-y, very, very, a lot of spice, but there's orange juice, carrot juice, pineapple, mango, turmeric, ginger, lemon juice, and beet juice. Yeah, his is like spicy, like it's not it's not like hot spicy, but it hits your throat. So they definitely have different vibes, but that's good. It's more like citrusy and mine's a little more like desserty and creamy. Very good. Go off Erwan. Also, did you see all the little cute pre-packaged food they have that's like fresh? I told AJ if I lived here, like I would be here all the time. I know I would. It would not be good for the bank account, but it would be great for the economy. So we've been walking around for a little bit. We went to Crate and Barrel and envisioned our lives and the furniture we wanted. We have a reservation at the Ivy and that's at like 11.45, but we're just gonna head that way and then walk around a little bit. But it's warming up finally. It was really cold, which I'm shocked. I thought people in LA were being dramatic when they said they had winter. It was a little chilly, so. We're going to the Ivy, which is like a trendy LA spot that, you know, a lot of celebrities are known to be at. I haven't been there in a few years, but I wanted to take AJ because I just really liked the food last time we went. It's a really cute brunch spot, so very colorful, very springy. It's kind of girly, but that's okay. We're not doing gender anymore in 2023. So I'm gonna see if AJ likes it. We made it to the Ivy. It's literally the cutest spot ever, and our guacamole just came here. This bread is about to go dummy stupid because it is literally the best. And we got the guacamole. They know how to do guacamole. For my entree, I got the swordfish tacos, and AJ got what'd you get for your entree? Risotto. Risotto. Yes. The sangria is tempting because they make it so fresh with like farmer market fruit but I, I didn't get it because I have a long day and I have red carpet stuff, but AJ got an old fashioned, so he's drinking for me. We just 
just had the most interesting last 40 minutes of our lives in a hot minute. So we're eating at the Ivy, okay? And AJ leans in and he says, Bria, is that... And I said, what did you just say? He says, I don't know. I said, what are you saying? <laughs> is that James Franco? <laughs> Ah, uh, James motherfucking Franco sat directly behind AJ at lunch. Why did I brush my hair today? You tell me, okay? So obviously in LA, if you don't know, now you know, it's not cool to fangirl. Well, guess what? I didn't fangirl. I just posted it on my story for all my besties to see because I needed to get this information out that a Franco was behind AJ. Now, to be fair, this was not my Franco of choice. My crush was Dave, Dave Franco. We all have a Franco. Who's your Franco? Comment down below. But mine was Dave. Still amazing for me. So first he was sitting directly behind AJ and then he got up and he moved to another chair. So then I had like just <laughs> the eyeline view <laughs> and I got so sweaty and dizzy. It was great. So I just wanted to share that moment with you guys. No, I did not pull out my phone and take pictures. I, I know the rules. And also we went to the Ivy. Like I told you guys, or I, maybe I didn't tell you, but the Ivy is known for having celebrities. In fact, while we were there, the TMZ bus pulled up and I waved at him because I was like, hey, I got a YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, um, a girl can dream, right? I was, I was manifesting in real time. Anyways, it was, it was hilarious. So that was like, you know, on our upper note. Then we get an Uber to come back to our hotel. We are at a red light and there is a woman on her phone parked, parallel parked, and we kind of stopped next to her. She flings her door open and a car completely takes her car door out. Bestie oops. And everybody's just in shock. I'm in shock. Our Uber driver's in shock. AJ's in shock. These two women are just staring at each other like deer in headlights. And we're like, uh, is everyone alive? Like, you know, okay, let's come back. Let's come back. Make sure we're good. To be honest, I think we talked about it. I think it's the woman's fault who was sitting in the car texting. She was, she was not paying attention. And when she was done with her little sentence, she just flung her door open and a car, it was just a millisecond. They had no time to stop. And then she tried to gaslight the driver and was like, you were looking over there. Bestie, you were on your phone. All I'm saying is um, I'm glad that was not her body. Seriously, like the car can be re replaced. They were both clearly doing well in their luxury vehicles. I'm not worried about the car, but that woman really needs to look up more because that could have been her freaking body. And that would have been really sad. So anyways, Keep your head up, guys. Get off your phone. Get off your phone. That's all I have to say about that. But it's been a crazy 40 minutes. We can call this the 40 minute debrief. I'm gonna drink some water and we're gonna get ready because now we have to go to a red carpet. At least now I'm mentally preparing to see celebrities, but I was not expecting to see a celebrity, Mr. James Franco, as I was eating my guacamole today. A great warm up, but I would like a little bit of a warning in the future. I don't know, it's still just very surreal for me. I'm not used to this, but people are like, that's so not cool. Like my friends that live here, I get it. It's it's so not cool. But hi, it's a very weird experience when you've only seen someone through a screen, you know? Anyways, let's get ready for red carpet. Kalam is gonna be here in less than an hour at this point actually. So I'm gonna do skincare one more time. And you guys, I recently, changed up my skincare routine. So I go to Dr. Mensa in Dallas and she does like everything beauty and cosmetic aesthetics. She's doing my Invisalign, right? But she also does like med spa work, like uh, filler, Botox, all that stuff. And she does skincare and she has this line she's created that is really melanated skin friendly. So all my black and brown girls, I'm gonna show you my three-step routine that I'm doing with her right now. And I've only been doing it for like a week, but my skin is just like so much more glowy and clear and vibrant. I don't have as many of those little breakouts I normally do, but it's, it's the truth. 
and I'm not really sure like if you guys want to try it what I'll do is I'll just link her Instagram page and if there's a specific link to get it because I'm not sure what it's like to order the product because she gave them to me but I know like yeah I'll just link her information down below if you want to try out her products but I always get really excited when there's skincare curated towards our melanated skin because I literally fucked up my skin one time. I think it was because I had used retinol improperly. We can use retinol, but we have to use it the right way. So anyways, let me show you what I'm using. This is Dr. Mensa's hyaluronic acid. So after you wash with whatever face wash you use, you'll go in with some hyaluronic acid. I always put excess down my neck because I want my neck to age like my face at the same rate, like not one going faster than the other. And then you take niacinamide. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but just a little pump. And disperse that evenly. And then the last step is a gentle retinol. right here so you should always be using sunscreen bestie and you guys know my favorite sunscreen right i'm gonna show you but if you are using retinol please use sunscreen for the love of god you should use it every day just like as a habit but don't use retinol if you're not going to use sunscreen for real you will fuck up your skin i did that this is the sunscreen I use. It's just basically like a part of my skincare routine. It's clear. I'll link it down below. But no white cast, none of that shit. Wear sunscreen. That's all I'm gonna say. It's crush. But yeah, I did my skin prep because we're about to wear a buttload of makeup to this red carpet event. I'm not trying to have all the clogged ass pores none of that but i love this it just has like the retinol is almost like a primer too it has like a blurring effect and kind of mattifies the face so i like that and i just like don't even wear makeup when i use that usually but um just make sure like i said you wear sunscreen all right i'm gonna go put some pants on before glam gets here oh and brush my teeth because i literally had so many red onions at lunch it was in the guacamole what was i supposed to do i love red onions sue me She's ready, red carpet ready. You guys, I feel very LA. This is a very LA day. We're, <laughs> <laughs> here's my tripod. Hi. <laughs> yeah, they they killed it. Makeup artists, like I saw she did Lori Harvey. So I was like, okay, we're on Lori Harvey level tonight. I don't care what y'all say. I'm not dusty, crusty, musty. I can't relate tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't relate tonight. So what we're gonna do now is we have the actual premiere. We're gonna go take our Uber over to the movie theater, take some photos, do like some fun red carpet stuff. And then we have the movie we're gonna get to watch. I don't know how this works if we get to meet the cast or whatever, but I, I'm, I'm pretty sure they'll be there. Fingers crossed, that'd be really cool. Um, and then we go to an after party. So let's see how this goes. carpet now we we had our turn and now we're just waiting to see who shows up tonight but it looks like the whole cast is going to be coming so that's exciting and then eventually we'll all move into the theater to watch the movie how's your first red carpet or black carpet uh nerve-wracking <laughs> i'm not gonna lie you guys i will debrief you later aj is doing good but at one point 
while I was getting my paparazzi pictures, he was looking at me like a deer in headlights because he did not know where to go. And I was like, mama's got to fly right now. I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> What was that? Um, what's going on? Was last night real? Last night was a movie, literally. I don't think AJ and I have the words <laughs> just quite yet. I, there was no way I could vlog last night. I was like unsure what was real and what wasn't last night. But that was the coolest thing ever. A. To be honest, you guys, I'm not sure if you could tell in like my my precursor to last night's premiere. I was very ignorant about how many famous people were gonna be there. I had no idea. I've never been to like a full-blown movie premiere where it's in the city where most of the cast live. So, you know, last time we did London Netflix. And so there were some of the main cast members there, but um, not all of them were at the international premiere. There was another premiere in the States. I didn't go to that one. So like, I didn't know what, I had no idea it was gonna be different. I'm thinking like the cast members just show up if they want and that's kind of true but this movie you people with Netflix actually has a star-studded cast the movie's incredible I I'm not just saying that because I was watching it with the cast. It's literally so good and so cute and very timely for the things happening in the world right now. So go check it out when it comes out. But just outside of the cast members, I didn't realize that so many people just come out to support and show love, which is really cool. But as you can see, we saw so many people, hopefully like you literally can't blink in that video, like go back and watch so many people. And I probably missed some of their names. Like, I don't know, AJ was like, Oh, there's that person. I'm like, there's that person. Like our head was on a swivel last night trying to see who was where. It was so cool. And we just were taking it in. We were like at the after party and we felt like we were flies on the wall, just like watching something behind the curtain, seeing people like I grew up watching, like, oh my God, Nia Long. Like, it's weird. And you know how people talk about paras parasocial relationships where it's like you feel like you know someone and they don't know you? Like, that is, I was experiencing that like heavily last night. I mean, I get it, but I wanted to run up to half these people and be like, Auntie, like, finally. But I'm like, you're Nia Long, you have no idea who I am. Um, but so many people. I did say hi to Raven, she was really sweet. Um, she was with her wife. And then we got a picture with Tyler, the creator, which was probably like the coolest part. Like, I think we were both just like starstruck by him. Cool dude. He's about as funny as he seems. And um, Taco was there. He's in the movie. I don't know if he still goes by Taco anymore. We were trying to figure that out. But we did see him. We didn't go say hi. I didn't know how to address him because I wasn't sure if he was still taco or not. So, but it was just kind of cool being in the room and kind of like just 
experiencing the energy of all these people who seem to be really cool and enjoying the fruits of their hard work and entertainment, which is just really cool to be a part of that. So anyways, that was insane to say the least. I anticipate this will not be my last one. I think this is kind of like the foot in the door for me to experience more on the entertainment side, which I'm really excited about. Something I've been saying that I predict with a lot of people in social media is that the lines are getting blurred. And a lot of creators are going into the entertainment field, entertainment space, or there is like a pipeline for it. I'm not necessarily saying that's my pipeline, but I am saying that I would not be surprised if there are like events and things that I continue to do in the space because one, the lines are blurring, but two, like I thoroughly enjoy this. And I think that it's kind of opening my eyes to something that I could be interested in. So we'll see where it goes, but this is really cool. And as a creator, like it's nice to look around a room and be like, damn, like, a lot of y'all paved the fucking way for me, like for real, to be able to show up online and feel confident because I can see myself in people like the people I was in the room with last night is really special as a black creator. So to be in that room with so many black icons last night was like unreal, unreal. AJ? Uber's about to be here. Do you wanna give us a 30 second debrief? Yeah, we were just there with some of our good friends. Um, <laughs> Our buddies, our besties. Who, who, who did we kick with last night? Um, like Bria <laughs> said, like Tyler, Taco, uh, Jamel Hill. Like we were just like chopping it up, just talking sports, you know. Um, yeah, it was just another night for us. <sighs> well, there you have it, folks. Another night. The point of this vlog was to just have a very LA day. And I think we did that 10 out of 10. So I hope you guys liked it. I know this is like different from my usual content, but I love to take you guys on these kinds of experiences because I feel like they're really important, especially like as black creators and black people in general, like seeing ourselves in these spaces is so important and I will never stop sharing them because I know that this is what I needed during my journey in so many areas of my life, like creatively and just in general. Like this is important and it's really special and I love taking you guys along. So let me know what you thought and I'll see you guys next week.